we want to divide and simplify. Looking at the first quotient, notice how we have the quotient of two radicals, but the index of the numerator and denominator are the same, and therefore we can use the property shown here below to rewrite this as the seventh root of a single fraction. The given expression is equal to the seventh root of x to the seventeenth y to the twelfth divided by x to the tenth y to the fifth. This is helpful because now we can simplify this fraction before we determine the seventh root. Remember when dividing and the base is the same, we subtract the exponent. The exponent rule is a to the m divided by a to the n is equal to a raised to the power of m minus n. So simplifying the fraction under the radical, x to the seventeenth divided by x to the tenth is equal to x raised to the power of seventeen minus ten, and y to the twelfth divided by y to the fifth is equal to y raised to the power of twelve minus five. This gives us the seventh root of x to the seventh and y to the seventh. And notice how because the exponents under the radical match the index, this will simplify perfectly to one factor of x and one factor of y. The simplified expression is just xy. And because the index is odd, we don't have to worry about absolute values. Looking at our second example, again we have the quotient of two radicals with the same index. Let's write this as a single radical of a fraction. The given quotient is equal to the fifth root of x to the nineteenth y to the fifteenth divided by x to the eighth y to the fifth. And now let's simplify the fraction under the radical. Remember when dividing and the bases are the same, we subtract the exponents. This is equal to the fifth root of x to the nineteenth divided by x to the eighth is equal to x raised to the power of nineteen minus eight, which gives us x to the eleventh. And then we have y to the fifteenth divided by y to the fifth, which is y to the power of fifteen minus five, giving us y to the tenth. And now we need to simplify the fifth root of x to the eleventh, y to the tenth, by identifying the factors raised to the fifth power. There are two x to the fifths in x to the eleventh. Let's write x to the eleventh as x to the fifth times x to the fifth times one factor of x. And let's write y to the tenth as y to the fifth times y to the fifth. And now we'll circle the factors raised to the fifth power because the index is five. X to the fifth will simplify to one factor of x here and here. Y to the fifth will simplify to one factor of y here and here. So simplifying, we would have two factors of x outside the radical, which gives us x squared. Two factors of y outside the radical, which gives us y squared. And we still have the fifth root of one factor of x. This is the simplified expression. I hope you found this helpful.